Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Curiosity Corner Live. My name is Joy, and I am coming to you live from right here at Great Lakes Science Center. Just a reminder, we are closed for the health, safety, and wellness of our guests and our staff, but we are still bringing you science content every single day at 1030 and at 3 o'clock. We're going to give up more friends at home a quick second just to pop in. So while we are waiting, take this time to hit that subscribe button if you have not already done so. Because remember, every day at 1030, you're going to get a new design challenge or a new science experiment to try at home. And also some brand new demonstrations are in store. So today we are going to be talking all about the science of optical illusions. So an optical illusion is a way that we can trick our brains. Because what happens is our eyes see something and then they send a message back to our brain. Now, here's the thing. Sometimes when we see something, our eyes perceive something that isn't really there. So our brain thinks that something is there that really, really isn't. So here's an example of an optical illusion. I have two arches right here. Take a look at these real quick. Which one do you think looks longer? Top one or the bottom one? Give you a second to look. Good morning, everybody who has joined us. Let's see. I think the bottom one looks longer, this yellow one right there on the bottom. But what happens if I flip it? Which one looks longer now? Looks like the bottom one again, right? Excellent job, Erica and Heather. It does look like the bottom one is longer. So how did I do that? If the bottom one was longer both times, that doesn't make any sense. What? Now, you want to hear a hint? They are exactly the same size. Crazy, right? Here's what happens. If you look at the arch, the top edge is longer than the bottom edge. So when our brain sees the longer top edge next to the shorter bottom edge, it automatically thinks that, hey, the one with the longer edge must be longer. So I can flip these back and forth and it looks like it changes every single time when actually they're exactly the same. This is called a Jastro illusion. It's pretty darn cool, but it's not the only way we can trick our brains. So I have here a beaker that is halfway full of water. And I just happen to have a little box with two arrows on it. Now, these two arrows are both pointed that way over towards my orange cabinet. But watch what happens when I put my arrow behind that beaker of water. Let's see, what do you think? Do they look like they're facing the same direction anymore? Probably not. They look, one is facing that way and one is facing that way. So I didn't chop up the card and flip it around. It's exactly the same as it was before. Let's try having a full beaker of water and we are going to see if our arrows change direction. So take a close look at my beaker, here we go. Oh, they flipped. And now they're back. What? Wow, that's crazy. So the reason why this works is because of something called refraction. Now, it's the same thing that happens if you've ever had a clear glass of water and you put a straw in it, it looks kind of distorted. And I'll put that right there. There we go. Now, I didn't break that straw in half. It is the same whole straw. Now, when light passes through water, it bends, which is called refraction. And because the light bends, it looks like my straw broke or like my arrows changed directions. So I have one more illusion for you that has to do with refraction. So I have here a beaker. Now take a close look. How many glass beads do you see in this beaker? Might be a little hard to see, might need to look, but there we go. So I can only see one. So if I pull this out, there's one glass bead, one glass bead, okay? Now, take a look at this beaker. How many glass beads do you see in here? 
Let's see, Karen says one, let's take a look. There's actually two. Pretty crazy, huh? So the reason why this works is because of the refractive index. Now in the beaker with one glass bead, I have water. And the refractive index is how fast light can travel through something. So the light travels through the water at a different speed than it travels through the glass bead. So when the light hits the water and then hits the glass bead, it bends and changes speed, which will index to my clear glass bead. So when the light travels through the baby oil, it doesn't change speed when it hits the glass bead and it just keeps going through instead of bending or bouncing, which makes our clear glass bead look pretty much invisible. So we have tricked our brains in a few different ways. Now here is my challenge for you today. Make your own optical illusion. You can try one that I showed you, like my Jastro illusion with the archways. Now, I made mine out of acrylic, but you can make one out of cardboard or out of paper and markers, or you can grab a glass of water, have some drawings, and put them behind the water to see if they bend. Or maybe you have an idea of your own, in which case we would love to see it. So make sure you share your designs with us on social media. You can tag us, use our hashtag, hashtag stay curious, C-L-E. And as an added bonus, you can trick someone's brain illusion in store for you. So go ahead, get creating and share your creations with us. Now, until next time, stay curious.